What's up, guys? I finally saw Suspiria, so yeah, we needed to discuss that. Hey guys, I'm Tyler. Welcome back to my channel. And I had a video a couple months ago about Suspiria asking you guys if it was worth it to watch because I watched all of about 20 minutes of it and had to shut it off because I was just fucking dreadfully bored and couldn't deal with Dakota Johnson's acting. <laughs> so I kept pushing it off. I would, I would try it again. I'd only get like five minutes in, but this time, you know, I was in the mood for something slow and I finally just powered through it all and I'm glad that I did, in all honesty. There's more good than bad. I wouldn't say that I love the film. I don't know. People are claiming that's the best, the best horror movie of last year. I don't understand that. However, I see that it's very polarizing, so I guess I understand it. Can, I can it can it. land on a best list or a worst list because it's that polarizing. For me, it just kind of fell in the middle middle of the ground because it just, I don't know, it just wasn't anything amazing. Middle of the ground. Middle of the road. I'm not good with the uh, euphemisms? Metaphors? What the fuck? I am I'm all over the place today. Either way, the film for the most part was what I wanted out of it. It was just interesting. That's the, uh, <laughs> that's the non-spoiler section. So for some of these reviews, I'll forget like, oh yeah, I want to do like a non-spoilery review at the very beginning and then get into the spoilers. Sometimes I'll just forget that. And <laughs> thankfully this time I remembered. So <laughs> that's it for uh, non-spoiler stuff because there is just so much to unpack with this film. Then you can just drop fucking dead. I really like the uh, aesthetic for the most part. It's very 70s. There's a lot of like zooms and just a muted palette. Unfortunately, later on in the film, I feel like them going for the 70s look kind of went against the film, especially during that final act. There's a lot of really shitty camera work where I understand what they're going for, but it would have looked so much better with like a steady cam circling around rather than like just handheld and like the strobe effect that they did. And it just, it didn't look good. It just made everything look cheap. So it made the finale very cheap, which was unfortunate. I like how things looked in it. And honestly, right now, this is more colorful than the entire film ends up being, which is crazy because when you think of Suspiria, you think of a lot of colors and that didn't really happen this time around. Looking into it, it sounds like the director specifically did that and went against the tone and the look of the original because he wanted to like differentiate it. The color is so important in the original that I would have appreciated if he had gone for it a little more. I mean, you're already Already going pretty against the regular story and like how things are unfolding so I feel like that is enough to differentiate your two films so you don't really need this other you don't really need to like completely change the color palette to try and differentiate if that makes any sense again it just kind of felt unnecessary there were times where it was like oh this would be great with a lot of color and then finally when we do get color more towards the finale it's just red <laughs> like the sc whole screen is just red which it looks fine, but it literally just looks like they slapped a filter over it, so that was unfortunate. It's odd. As simple as the story is, because it's essentially about a ballet school, ballet program, is a front for a coven of witches. As simple as that is, it still gets very, very comp complicated and convoluted, and I'm not even sure I entirely got everything. As soon as the film ended, I was like, oh yeah, I'll definitely rewatch that again, and just to be able to pick up on the little things throughout the film, because I'm sure that there's plenty that I didn't even realize. I will, I'll put this out there right now. I do not like Dakota Johnson at all. I think that she is terrible in everything I've seen her in. This film is no exception. She's really, really bad creation. regardless. And I just realized you can see my, uh, you can see my fucking mic. We're gonna move that up just a hair. God damn it. There. <laughs> oh my God. I. The shit that you just do when I really want to talk about this film and then not even paying attention to the technical side. Oh well. I'm sure half the people didn't even realize it. Probably just thought it was part of Abu up there. Either way, back to Suspiria. Um, so the 
acting from Dakota Johnson is definitely a problem. Unfortunately, because I really like Chloe Grace Moretz, I think she might just be going by Chloe Moretz now and that she's not a child actor. Unfortunately, it seems like she may have, her like acting style may have only, that may not translate well to adulthood because I haven't seen her anything good since before the Carrie remake. I don't know, she's just, she's not good in this film. But fortunately, there are two really great performances. I really enjoyed Mia Goth in this, who I'm not really very familiar with. I just know her as Shia LaBeouf's girlfriend or wife. I don't keep up with that stuff. That's mostly how I've like, known her so she definitely does does a really good job in this despite i mean it's not like a huge role but when you put it when you compare it and have it right next to like dakota johnson who's just doing terrible it stands out speaking of standout the absolute best performance of the film is Tilda Swinton, which shouldn't be a huge surprise, but what is a huge surprise is the fact that she's playing the only prominent male role in this film, which is so odd. Even watching the film, I'm like, it starts up and I'm like, wait a minute, why is this, why do they have a younger guy in old man makeup? What's, why not just hire an old man? And then as it starts going along, going along, I'm like, wait a minute. Wait one goddamn minute. And guess what? It's Tilda Swinton. <laughs> I wouldn't have even known, which apparently she plays three roles in this film because she's the whatever. I, God, I don't remember any of the fucking names in this. She is the doctor. She's the head of the ballet academy. And then she's also one of the witches. And she's in prominent makeup for the two of the three roles and then she's just essentially herself for the third and honestly like you wouldn't know that it was her that's how good she does in it this film just solidifies the fact that i'm pretty sure i could just watch her do just about anything because she's just that good of an actress she really helps elevate this the entirety of the film and again when you're going against Dakota Johnson, who's doing so poorly, it can, it just stands out even more, and she's just doing so great, and yeah, I really, really, really loved her performance in this. I'll mention good, mention bad, and that's just kind of what this movie is. As soon as you get the good, then they're sprinkled in with some bad, then when it's really bad, they're sprinkled in with some good, and so that's why it's very polarizing and mixed bag of a big mixed bag film. I wish that they had just done different things, especially when it comes to the uh, the dance scenes. They work really well. The first one, it's more, it's just Dakota Johnson practicing. Later on, knowing what we know, it kind of has an even darker undertone because you're like, is this dance now fucking up Priscilla? Is that is that what's going on? Because then during the second dance later on, we get to see what is happening to Olga while uh, Dakota Johnson's character is dancing. I think it's Susie. I think, maybe. Maybe I'm just confusing different places, different names. Oh, that second dance with Olga getting like contorted and all that, it's fucking amazing. And looking into it, it's amazing because there's like no CGI. It's done practically. And you can tell because it just, everything hits so much harder. I would say that the entire film is worth it for that scene alone. That scene's fucking incredible. And obviously Tilda Swinton's performance too, but that scene, honestly, even if you don't want to see the film, YouTube, Suspiria Olga dance scene <laughs> and you'll be fucking blown away because it's really really incredible and they just did a really great job with it. I have to talk about that last like 30 minutes because it's a problem. <laughs> it is a problem. It could be like just the standout scene of the film but they just it's a mess it's an absolute mess from what i was talking about earlier with like the 70s aesthetic and what, how they do like the strobing effect that's what's happening in this scene they're like circling around the room like while this is happening and so it just makes it everything look really bad the whole thing is like the witch is exploding people's heads <laughs> which is a really cool visual however it's showing all these members of the coven they're saying their vote which is again if they did this certain vote then that's them getting killed and like yeah if you, you show it a couple times and it's it's really cool but then they keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it we're like we don't need to see this we get the point like you're exploding the heads of the people that voted for this other person like we get it but they just they hammer it home to annoyance they should have removed some of those shots and the whole scene would have worked better i always i always feel like the rule of threes just makes sense where it's like three instances that's enough to be able to get it across your audience any more than that then it's just like 
All right. All right, this is a little too much repetition. So that just didn't work. The strobing slow motion effect that they use looks fucking awful. And I understand it's a 70s aesthetic, but this film was made in 2017, I think, 2016. I think it had a really long post-production process because it came out in 2018. What's the point? We've come so far and made all these advancements. What's the point of going back and making your film worse for it that? It's not like the zooms where it almost takes you back to that time and like, has a certain look to it and this looks like it was shot on film and yeah all these things really help the film until you're starting to use things that didn't work back in the day and now you're trying to bring them into the present when we already have these better ways of doing it that was really really unfortunate and especially the lighting just kind of reveals a little too much of the prosthetic work on the especially like chloe moretz mia goth it just it doesn't look good it's it should have been a little like more underlit so where we couldn't see as much because the special effects just don't look that great. There's a point which I'm, I don't fully understand what was even going on with this, but Dakota Johnson's character like rips open her heart, like her chest, like showing her heart. And there's moments where it looks cool. And then there's times you're like, Ugh, that looks like a lot of CGI, like very messy. Like it just it doesn't look as good from moment to moment you're like wait why does this not always look great oh and by the way this <laughs> this is not a zit uh i got hit at jujitsu so please do not uh be like oh he's got one massive zit going right now no it's a fucking i think it's a finger to the to the bridge of the nose so just <laughs> just another thing i just saw myself on camera i was like oh yeah i was gonna address that at the beginning of the video and then completely forgot and so just kind of how it is that's just how it is with this video in general. I didn't turn on my uh, <laughs> my main key light. That's why uh, I was gonna then redo this, and I was like, you know what? This is it's Suspiria. We need like the different color palette. It works for it, so I'm just gonna leave it as is because I think it looks cool regardless. <laughs> so if you're like, oh, it doesn't look quite as crisp as usual, that's why I don't have my key light on at all because I'm a dummy. Yep, but yeah, uh, that's really all. I don't really have anything else to say about this film. Hope that this is something that causes you to maybe give it a chance because, trust me, I'll link the video down below of my, like, asking you guys if I should power through it. Because I shut it off after 20 minutes then. I had a very negative reaction to it, so. But even now, I there's a lot to like about it, and I definitely plan on rewatching this in the future, and potentially even owning it, because there was a lot to enjoy, and it was just, I like, I like crazy fucked up movies where you don't fully know what's going on, and it's all just cerebral and dreamlike and yeah really checks all those boxes so yeah that's really all for this week hope that you guys are having a fantastic summer and i will see you in the next video hey friends be sure to like comment subscribe all that good stuff and check out this video that youtube thinks that you would like